I was watching the kids play on scooters the other day, going back and forth between houses in a predictable pattern, fully engaging their imaginations as they rushed back and forth between the secret lab and the evil fortress. They defeated each just by being there before rushing back to home base. Soon other children appeared to be running similar maneuvers across the street. They were doing their best to keep socially distant from one another. I remember doing similar activities as a kid. Minus the social distancing, of course. We had no concept of that. neighborhood. My mother knew all the neighbors and she kept an eye out for all the kids. Sure there were shootings and gang activity in places, but we were pretty insulated in our neighborhood. The first house I bought I thought was in an okay neighborhood. It seemed like a good first house. We moved in on Memorial Day weekend. Six or seven houses down the street someone was shot at a barbecue. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. Now that the house wasn't all bad, I met my new wife. I got into some good new hobbies. But there was no connection to the people there. We barely waved at the neighbors. Always in the back of my mind wondering if they were the ones who broke into my house. There was just no connection. I missed that for my kids. I wanted them to be able to interact with people. To play outside. To not be worried about the neighbors. So we moved. Lucked out with the neighbors. Very first week, we got cookies from the neighbor across the street. Welcome to the neighborhood. We started making great connections here. We hung out with the neighbors, the kids played together, and we weren't afraid, but now we're afraid. Not of getting shot by one of the neighbors, but of this disease, of getting too close. What will my son remember? Will he remember going to church or just watching it on TV? Will he remember when he could hug his friends without fear? Will he remember not having to stay six feet apart from his closest friends? Will he remember what the inside of a grocery store looks like? Will he remember a time where he wouldn't have to wear a mask? What will he remember? What will his life be like tomorrow? What? What's that, son? He fell off your scooter? Uh-oh. Looks like you skinned your knee. No worries. Let's get some first aid kit and clean that up a bit. Okay. Here's a clean band-aid. All right, you're all set. He's off again. I was watching kids play on scooters the other day.